Hi friends, this is a video um, that I would like for you to listen to at the beginning of the semester um, in preparation for your indicator assignment or your ending assignment, the one that shows me all of the growth that you have made and all the understanding that you have from the course um, that happens actually at the end of the semester. So this project is called um, a reading suitcase. The idea behind this is um, when you are in the classroom, sometimes it's going to be difficult to put literature and activities and purposeful activities in the hands of our kids. A lot of times um, they might got, go home and there just be um, no good text for them to read or, or um, the parents are um, kind of... Um, not so knowledgeable about um, what activities to do with the kids um, to really help develop some of their literacy skills. And so the idea behind this is as, an, um, as a teacher that you are going to send home a suitcase or a bag or um, some type of um, collection of things home with the kids, maybe over a weekend or a spring break or a winter break um, that maybe has a theme that has, it's a collection of books and activities, but everything that the child needs is in this one place, including the directions for the parents, including um, um, questions for the parents to ask. If they're supposed to cut something out, you've provided scissors. If they're supposed to color something, all of that is provided in there. I use these a lot um, in my classroom because I knew going home that that they were not going to have the supplies necessary to do some of these um, activities but I knew that my parents would be willing to sit down with them they just did not um, know what to do with the kiddos so when you are getting ready to make your reading suitcase Throughout the semester, as you're listening to different lectures, I want you to be thinking, okay, could I use this in this final indicator assignment? Can I use this in my reading suitcase final project? Um, because all throughout um, the class, we're going to be talking about um, ideas for language, ideas for listening, ideas for literacy that you can apply um, to a wide range of children in your classroom or sending your classroom home as we do with this reading suitcase. So things I want you to think about. First, I want you to identify a grade level. We can see that here. Tell me, um, choose a grade level that you would feel comfortable with. Maybe it's a grade level that um, you could see yourself working in. I want you to choose a grade level that um, is applicable to your interests so you can use this in the future. Now, let's say you choose third grade and you end up teaching fifth graders. Will you have a fifth grader on the third grade reading level totally that is a reason why at the end of this semester you are going to share your reading suitcase because it's going to be packaged as a PDF you're going to share it with your other classmates so if we have 10 15 people in the class you now have 10 or 15 reading suitcases that you can pull from in your future classroom so you're going to identify a grade level establish a theme some examples of themes might be um, springtime um, the Civil War, the Butterfly Cycle, uh, the State of Ohio, um, some type of theme that would make sense with that grade. If I'm thinking about kindergarten, I'm thinking about the life cycle. If I'm thinking about preschool, maybe seasons. If I am thinking about um, second grade, I'm thinking about nonfiction texts and throw in a bunch of um, um, animal um, nonfiction texts. Um, if I'm going to go up to fourth or fifth grade, I'm going to be maybe thinking about um, geography or the Civil War, American Revolution, things like that. So you're going to establish a theme that matches that grade level. Then you're going to brainstorm age-appropriate books and activities. What this really means is get on Google. Type in third grade um, American Revolution books or um, second grade animal nonfiction books. So that's what brainstorm means there. So you're going to get a list of maybe some different books and some different activities that would work together. 
And then you're going to create a suitcase of activities for families to complete together at home. Now, you're going to combine this into a PDF so you can easily put it up on your on your professional website and share it with your peers. Now, when it's time for um, it to go home, you will have everything printed out. You will include all of the supplies in your um, in this attractive PDF document. It'll start off with a cover page and then you will have a table of contents and then you will have supplies needed. And so you might need to tell your fellow teachers you need to have crayons, you need to have popsicle sticks, and glue to go home, okay? But you're not going to shove those into a PDF, of course. Um, you're going to um, create a suitcase of activities for families to complete together at home. Include science or social studies, math, reading, and writing. So you are going to choose either science or social studies, act, an activity from either one of those, and a math activity and a reading and writing activity. So count with me. This is one, two, three, four. Four different activities. If we are doing the life cycle of a frog, I'm gonna have a science activity kind of with that theme. Somehow I'm gonna tie it with math, with reading, and with writing, okay? But it's science or social studies. And then again, you're gonna combine it into that attractive PDF document. Let's go down a little bit further here. You can see how you score your points for this. Now, at the bottom here, it says it's worth 50 points. This portion is worth 50 points. And then your um, your other part of this is also worth 50, worth 50 points, excuse me, which equals 100 points. This is the biggest, the heaviest assignment in this class even um, graded heavier and given more weight than your final exam. So make sure that you know um, about this. Don't put it off to the end. Give it all of your strength. This shows me what you have learned in class. So um, let's see. You get five points for each one of these, which should equal 50. Um, so you have a clearly identifiable theme. So I am thinking on your cover page, there should be some illustrations showing me your theme. Clear directions and explanation of activities for parents. So remember, if we looked up here, there were one, two, three, four. Four definite activities, and you need to have clear directions and an explanation for the parents, which tells me for those four activities, you need to tell them exactly what they need, exactly what they're doing as parents, exactly what the students are doing. Before that even, you have a need an explanation for what this reading suitcase is. So we've talked about um, kind of the order things go in. Maybe it starts with a cover page and then a table of contents um, and then maybe like a resource page. These are all the things included. And then the very next thing should be a letter to parents. This is the importance of language and literacy in your lives in your child's lives, and this is how we're gonna use this. This is why I have sent this home, because parents don't know unless you tell them. And then you are gonna choose three different books, and you're gonna have pre-written questions for parents to ask their kids. We're gonna be talking about low-level and high-level questioning in this class, and that right there is gonna practice that. So with three books, you have three questions that goes along with it. You have an age-appropriate reading activity, writing activity, math activity, and then science or social studies. We just talked about that, right? So four different activities, three different books with pre-written pre -written questions. And then it's all in one PDF submission onto task stream, and that's 50 points. Once you have that, you will be ready for the next part of our project, which is a infomercial. We are making this infomercial because you could put it up on your professional website to inform future administration or um, fellow teachers about the reasoning behind this reading suitcase. Um, you could put that up on your professional website. You could share it with parents. Um, and it is also good to practice your academic language on why are we doing this. All of my assessments and all of our activities is just not to do because hopefully you can really use them in your future classroom. So things to remember, know your audience, um, make sure there's a professional quality of your video, explain the purpose of a reading suitcase, explain the activities,
Explain the benefits. Why are we doing this? The parents want to know. Um, if you do give them good benefits, um, saying this is why we're doing this, they will get on board easier. Include information through visuals and text. I want to see both of those. And I should have images on this video, spoken word on this video, text, and background music. This needs to be really well produced, but you cannot have a really nice production of something unless you have good bones, and that's where this comes in, right? So what I'm gonna ask you to do in the beginning of um, um, when we start working on this at the end of the semester is that you are going to submit for me just this and we're going to talk about it and we're going to make sure this is really strong and then I'm going to give you the okay to move on to your infomercial because I don't want you to create an infomercial on a shaky reading suitcase that's not fair to anybody and then this is going to be due about a week before um, the semester ends because if it's not done well I'm going to zip it back to you and you're going to keep doing it until you have produced um, a product that you can be proud of to use in your future classroom so if that means you do it two or three times it means you do it two or three times but we want to make sure that you have really conquered this thing you understand the purpose of it and you have really showed the concepts that you have learned through this communications class I look forward to um, sharing this process with you guys and um, we will get there by the end of the semester don't let this stress you out all of our knowledge and our the concepts that we're learning are slowly build upon each other and um, hopefully this will be a really fun project for you guys.